Christmas now, you want it? Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, as you see, our accounts office has its opening signs, just like the banks, you know. Yeah. But it's more difficult to get money out of us. <laughs> um, over here is um, oh. where we keep all our old characters, you know. What, all the actors used to act? No, not the actors, the characters. It's fictional, remember? Oh, it's uh, fictional, right. So you, you're, not, you're not cruel to your actors, Phil? No, 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 no. No, we're very good. Yeah. And so uh, we use those every time we go off and do cemetery scenes and things like that. Right. We're coming over here now to our sort of main reception <laughs> right. uh, on the place. As you can see on the left here is the actual reception itself that people come to. Um, and this is Frank and Richie, our gardeners, because one of the other things about Brookside is that we have to sort of look after the garden 365 days of the year. Yeah. Uh, for us, it's the 1st of November, but for Frank, you're slightly ahead of us now, aren't you? Christmas now. Christmas, yeah? Oh, we're going to get the season. We're going to go to the, ho uh, the holly and the mistletoe and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. yeah? Oh, Frank, well, how does he do it? How do you do it? How do you get the plants out sort of ahead, you know, sort of five weeks ahead all the time? Well, we usually put them in a hot house or a cold frame. Yeah. You know, when we buy them, we keep them in there to force them up a bit and then put them out. That's right. And actually what Frank does, he uses Harry Cross's greenhouse, really. Doesn't he use plastic ones, though? No, we don't use plastic, do we, Frank? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, they will right. do in 50 years' time, That's, no doubt. Oh, probably. This, is, as I said, is the main door to our reception, but this door here, next door, this is actually our kind of main admin office and every oh. script and storyline that goes through the programme yeah. actually goes through this office and all the fan mail and everything else that comes through to the company. Phil, have you ever thought of taking a job in television? Um, as a presenter, that is. As a presenter? <laughs> You're doing very well. Well, I might, if, I, if I don't fall over when I go around this corner, we might be okay. All right. Okay. So we come around here, this is, this is what you normally see on the, um, yeah. the programme, the actual sort of close itself. And... How about this? We have some actors actually rehearsing here. Well, right. gosh. Just happen to have some ready. Just some ready here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Who we got and what's going on? Um, it looks like we've got Paul and uh, Annabelle Collins, played by Doreen Sloan and Jim Wiggins, with right. Mark Burgess Gordon. Um, Romy Allison, who's the director, is obviously talking through one of the scenes. Can you not get a bit nearer, love? Well, shall we just interrupt them and see what happens? Yeah, please. Yeah? Okay. Romy. Romy, do you mind if we? Sorry, do you mind if we break in? No, yeah? not at all. This is our, our open air bit for the first November, the day in the life of television. This is Romy Allison's actually directing the scene. Hello, Romy. Uh, Kevin, who is our floor manager. Vinny, who is our assistant floor manager. Jim Wiggins who plays uh, Paul Collins. Hello. Dory Stone plays Annabelle. Hello. Mark Burgess Gordon. Hello. And of course, Kate, who's the PA for today. Romy, what are you actually doing today, then? We're rehearsing a scene that isn't actually set on the close. It's a, a location scene out yeah. outside the golf club, to which uh, Paul Collins is a member. And we're rehearsing a scene where they're outside the golf club waiting to meet Mr. Fallon. Why? What are you talking about? What's the issue at stake? Because you like, you like serious issues, don't you, Phil? Yeah, well, we try, um, as well as entertaining the programme, we try and raise anything that might be going on in society and contribute to those wider debates. Yeah, and what is it today, then? Well, well this particular scene, um, m Mrs... Um, your mother's name, what is it? Mona Harvey. Harvey? Yeah, I've forgotten her name. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mrs glass. Harvey has said she's going to marry Mr Fallon. And they're both an elderly couple. They're both living in the home at the moment together, in this rather jolly home. And their family, understandably, are worried about what his motives are where the money's going to go, whether it's yes. going to go to their offspring or his offspring, whether she's fit to take on a home again, what his motives are, whether she's just having a whim or whether she really is in love with him. And this generation is worried about the generation up. That's a good one for today. 50 years' time. I wonder what um, the I'll attitude's going to be. still be worried about it 50 years. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, not that's personal. <laughs> not you personally, but it, right. it is an interesting thought how we treat old, old people. And, because we are going to be those people in 50 years' time, aren't exactly, we? Exactly. Yeah. Instead of just feeling it, we'll actually be it. Yes, yeah. that's right. That's and right. perhaps we'll appreciate it by then. Some Annabelle. Uh, be not Annabelle. <laughs> Doreen. Yeah. Doreen, is it true? I haven't been watching for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Doreen, can, you, can Doreen hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. I haven't been watching for a couple of weeks. I've just been told the shock horror news. You're having an affair. <laughs> you only found out now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe but it. Paul's Where have I been? I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, didn't you? What <laughs> about Paul? Paul? Did he doesn't. know? Yes, I he know. Doesn't. Well, no, no, Paul doesn't know, but uh, I, Jim Wiggins, know. <laughs> well, that would be helpful. You see, this is another topical uh, thing, yes. which is going to be topical in 50 years' time, isn't it? Always will be. Perhaps, perhaps yeah. affairs will be illegal in 50 years' time. Who knows? Well, they might be illegal, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to stop anybody doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone should... Uh, uh, I think someone should write a cookbook called uh, 
100 Ways with Mince and Monogamy. <laughs> be a bestseller in 50 years' time still. Phil, do you think Liverpool will exist in 50 years' time? Of course it'll exist. I mean, it's been here for hundreds of years. It's going to be here for hundreds of years more. Great. Yeah, Manchester now, that's another thing. <laughs> that's a different question altogether. That's right. That's but right. It isn't, of course, Phil, it isn't the only programme that's going to go down in the archives that's, uh, that's one of yours, is it, today? No, it isn't, actually, because we've got uh, on a 5 o'clock tonight Grange Hill, which has been going for 12 years, and hopefully we'll keep going for 50 years more. It, what do you think? Are you all doing diaries, all, all the cast? And yes, we've all well, got our... Uh, here they are. You've got your bits? I haven't yeah. got mine with me because I've got my script instead. Yeah. Dory, what, do what are you going to be saying about today? Is it going to be a typical day for you? Uh, well, it's not exactly typical because you're here, but um, <laughs> if, if you weren't here, it would be typical. And that would involve how many hours, how many hours work do you normally do? You actors? Oh, it varies very much. Today is quite a heavy day because we've got um, two lots of rehearsals on and I'm included in both those and I'm also on the shoot. So I'm involved with three different directors today. Excellent. What, and what about you, Jim? I shall be rehearsing with another director later on. Uh, I'm not shooting today, fortunately. Right. So that's an easy day for you. They're yeah, pretty good, yes. And what will you watch? I still when put you... the same effort in, of course. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and what will you do when you get home? What will you watch tonight? What Anything? will I watch? Yeah. Well, I'll have a look. Know at, what's on. I'll have a look at the Independent and see what uh, jumps out. Right. From the I wonder if program. that'll still be going in 50 years' time as yeah. well. That's a good thought. Uh, <laughs> so, how long have we got on Brookside? What do you reckon? Put in a bid now for the archive, and we'll see um, if you're right. How many more years do you think it will go? Hundreds. Bill? What? Hundreds. Don't Hundreds. be silly. Will you still be uh, writing it? A calculated guess. A calcu 25. Well, um, yeah, Connage Street's into 25 years, so we've got to try and stagger it up to that, haven't we? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. so that's your ambition. Well, I hope you make it. And thank you very much, indeed, for letting us interrupt your important rehearsals. And uh, Phil, very good. And perhaps in a couple of years' time, we'll see you presenting on television. Yeah, well, when I get through my YTS course, <laughs> it should be okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, indeed, all of you. Now over to Mike.